tired. <laughs> just sleep for 24 hours. A tiring one for sure. Oh, we have beer. Ha, <laughs> ah, what a trip. It was memorable, for sure. It was definitely a memorable trip. We get to Shanghai and we're exhausted because we just got off a 14 hour flight and your body just doesn't feel good after a 14 hour flight. But we got to see a little bit of the city and just like that, we were already off to the next location to Bangkok. We didn't actually film in Bangkok just because we were there for such a short time and still trying to recuperate from everything. Straight from Bangkok, we go to Phuket. And when we finally get to Phuket, we just grab a hotel and crash. Just waiting for a taxi now and we're gonna go to the Airbnb and sleep and do nothing for a whole day, hopefully. To the Airbnb we go. Why are you in focus and I'm not? There we go. It knows. See you at the Airbnb. It knows. We get to our Airbnb and the next few days aren't so bad. <laughs> well, that was a tiring three days of just standing in line and airports and flying and taxis and spending money to get to and from places and all that. But we're, we made it and we're gonna go to the market and buy a bunch of food and cook food and make food and just like hang out at the beach. Oh no, I'm not showing censor. Censor! No! <laughs> How are those almonds? It's the only food I have. Oh well, we're gonna go to the market soon, don't worry. Good. Success. We're gonna split a 12 ounce beer. Mm, that's fine. Oh, look at this crab that we made all by ourselves. Oh, yes. ever had. We need to get mounds of sand in the living room. I'm sure we could buy some at Lowe's. And then we explored a little bit of Phuket City. Saw this really neat mall that had a mini floating market in it.
these little cups or like the spoons and then this broom. Is it a big spoon or a little spoon? I think there's both. There's a big spoon and a little spoon. And a little spoon. It's 7.30 and we're already sweating. Last day at the Airbnb, so we're headed out to a hostel in- Kalsak. Kalsak. Um, then Kalak. Okay, Kalsak, and then we're gonna do a survival trek for two days. So that'll be so interesting. So you never see us again. That would be why. If we're is, face down in a ditch. If this is the last footage you ever see. I'm like sticky. And know, it's only 7.30 so in the morning. I feel like I have some like permanent rivers in my ass crack. <laughs> we're about to go into the jungle for two days. How do you feel? Days. We're gonna hunt and cook and swim naked. I will. Afterwards, we went to Khao Sok and went on a survival jungle trek. So we spent two days and one night with this amazing guide, Kiao. And he didn't speak much English, but he was incredibly friendly and accommodating and welcoming. Hello? Green. Hello? <laughs> Green. <laughs> what a neat plant. That's so cool. God, it's so close to my face. <laughs> showed us all sorts of things. And being so intimate with the jungle was just such an amazing experience. This is our lunch. This is like better than what we would have been eating otherwise. Yes. Yeah. Such good chicken. And this is our view. We'll later be swimming. Skinny dipping. Swimming right here. He showed us how to catch fish and how to boil rice and water in bamboo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You make. All of the tools that we needed, he made out of bamboo. Our cups, our bowls, our spoons. Gotta do it. Do it. Some coffee. The bamboo cup. The bamboo spoon. It's okay, huh? you eat even more and the rum, huh? yeah, it's okay, no problem. Oh, you can drink more rum and eat more. Yeah. Sure. Drink. I'm kind of yeah. full. <laughs> <laughs> Does this have the rum? That is like straight rum. It was such a wonderful experience and I honestly feel like I would have been happy to do it for at least three days. So from there, we get back to our accommodation, this lovely little place called the Kalsok Evergreen House. And it's run by this beautiful couple that are very kind, um, but it's also 40 minutes of a walk from any civilization. From the little village that is near us, it's about a 40 minute walk. We decide to take a walk to go get pizza.
It's like this perfect view, and then you eat shit. You eat rocks? That's weird. Do you hear that screaming? Yeah. It's an insect. It's an actual insect. It just screams. We'll just take a quick walk from our bungalow. What's the worst that could happen? It could Complete be, downpour. It could pour rain and it could be a 40 minute walk out and everything <laughs> closes. But these guys were so nice and they're gonna feed us. What's the worst that could they happen? They literally reopened their sign just for us. <laughs> the nicest people ever. And we're soaking all of their stuff. We're the worst. Look at <laughs> Looks so, so good. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, we have beers, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. How do you feel? Um, well, I'm soaking, but I'm full, and now it's not raining, so I'm a little warmer. It's a little dark. The Evergreen House was actually looking for us, which is really sweet of them. So we finally get back, sleep really well after changing into dry clothes and wake up in the morning and go to this tour, I guess, on this place called Chulan Lake. Such a beautiful place, and it was surreal to see any of this. Like, it it looked like I was in Tarzan or, or Jurassic Park or something. I wish you could see how beautiful this is, but in the morning, Thailand is beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful everywhere, but it, there's just being in the middle of the jungle at like 6 a.m. is just surreal. We are staying at this place called um, the Khao Sak Evergreen House, and it's just this couple that runs everything, and they are amazing. But it's our last day in Khao Sak and we're actually headed back to Bangkok for two more nights. And then we're headed back to Shanghai and then headed back home. But right now we're just getting ready. Um, we're about to pack up all of our things, eat breakfast, and head back to the airport so we can go back to Bangkok. See you in Bangkok. So finally we get back and head back to the airport to go back to Bangkok for two more nights. And we go to this wonderful night market, eat some really good street food, and then I leave early next morning. Alex stays for one more day in Shanghai. Lucky man. And here I am, back home. So I did originally plan to stay for a month in Thailand, but it didn't end up being really a place that I felt like I, I needed to be for me, if that makes sense. It really was wonderful, but it, it wasn't some place that I wanted to solo travel. It would be more of a place that I would go on holiday with my mom, you know, somewhere to be in vacation mode, you know, to, to be on a resort and go get massages and, you know, just, just vacation-y holiday things rather than solo traveling. So I came back home. And like any sane person, instead of going back to work for the extra two weeks that I have off, I booked a flight to Portland. So that's coming up. Stay tuned. This trip was 
Not at all what I expected, which is a good and bad thing. I think Alex had a lot of fun abroad for his first time, though I wish it went a little smoother just for him. It was memorable. We got a lot of really cool memories. I took a lot of really pretty pictures and really pretty videos, but I just want to, I just want you to remember that there was a lot of struggles along the way. Travel has a funny way of giving you the highest of highs and the lowest of lows all at the same time. We definitely experienced that in our travels to Thailand. <laughs> well anyway, you guys have a wonderful December. Yeah, have a wonderful week. It's really good to see you guys again and um, be kind to each other. Best of luck and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.